About eight days ago, Foe had some very good RNG at the Chambers, pulling the omelette, unfortunately with an arcane, at 412, but today his luck was something else. Ooh, a purple. Let's go, baby. We broke the trash tank. It's an ancestral. Yes! 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 Completing the challenge mode raids to try and get that dust for his lovely little pet. And this one was tied to yeet the mystics. There goes those dirty mystic bottoms. But don't think his RNG was finished there for the day. Let's see if it's the top. We're going to open the collection log for it. It is a... Oh my gosh, it's a duplicate omelette. And another arcane price girl. One of the luckiest yet unluckiest back-to-backs we will ever see. And super cool that he got the exact same drop with the omelette, but too bad it was the arcane. G'day legends, and thank you as always for the support on these videos that we upload literally every single day. But do you know 45% of you are not subscribed? So if that's you, have a little look down at that button and click it. Drop a sub, drop your daily like. It would mean the absolute world to me. And let's get back to the clips. I love to see that the donator still got my favorite ZCB in the entire game, but let's see if it works for him here. Woo! <laughs> the swift recovery, bro. The moonwalk spec, I swear. And the man was absolutely moonwalking in for the K. Oh, it just looked so glorious. <laughs> As we know, the donator has the luckiest ZCB with nine lives, but he's flirting dangerously close to that multi-line once again. The man could not believe it, and like we say, if it seems too good to be true, it usually is, and here comes Rot. Rot just won again. And after dying and just escaping the smite multiple times with that ZCB, unfortunately now it's property of Rot. And Odoblock was also out in the wilderness risking his Bofa and full crystal armor, but you can see he's also flirting dangerously close to that nice little red line. Oh no. I don't want to die. Like, like, please take it. No, no, rah, rah, rah. I was just joking, but I don't, I don't want it. Rot was out in full force today, taking anyone's plus one who stepped anywhere near that multi-line. Plundering has a very unique level three account, and he has some seriously high stats, but in this clip is him reaching 200 mil XP for rune crafting, locking him in as the 83rd person to ever achieve that rank, but the fifth person to ever achieve that who is on a level three account. And pretty cool to see he also has 73 Slayer while keeping every other combat stat at level 1. And he only had one thing to say about 200 mil. We did it. Skill Specs is completely out of food and down to just 12 HP, but he gets a very nice snare. Now, the only problem with this is he's sitting at 2 HP and he's poisoned. He does have a super restore in his invent, but he is just spamming that logout button. Of this game, bro, RuneScape is the best game to ever exist. Prove me wrong. There is no better game. Bear, no! Man. Complete that. And sometimes when you get your PB, you get rewarded. I swear to God. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, at least a minute PB. Holy sh**. All right, let me get this chest. That one being the second enhance for Kunix's Iron Man at 690 KC. Tasty is widely renowned as the greatest RuneScape gamer of our generation. Well, here he's trying to complete the level 500 solo to get the kit. 
Oh, God, I hate this place. Oh, I hate this place, dude. Oh, I hate this place. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Taking almost one hour with no supplies left, but the man got the job done. And here's what he had planned after. I'm going to Tarb, dude. I'm going back to Tarb. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's going on with Zora lately, but it seems these streamers have found a sneaky little trick to getting drops. Wait, you got it. Blow pipe. Give it to me. And there it is, another call, another drop. We've seen three streamers call the exact Zora drop they've received in the last few videos. And it seems to get a drop. All you have to do is be a streamer and simply mention the drop rates, and this is what happens. What's my opinion on God Wars Dungeon drop rates? Uh, I love them. It's my favorite place in the game because of that, Fluff. I am a big fan. I think that every boss should be like that. I Yo, okay. Unfortunately, it's just a Sarah light, but at 60k, see, this man already has the ACB, so no complaining from Leaf. A very tricky question to answer. Katarina had an evacuation in her apartment, but she was in the middle of a last man standing game. And yes, her whole apartment could have been catching on fire, but what's more important, getting out safely or finishing off some little noob scrub that's gonna tell you to sit if he PKs you. She got out safely, and I believe it was just a false alarm, but she didn't win that LMS game, so I'm a little bit disappointed. And something I certainly never thought I would see, we've had so many random famous people playing RuneScape in the last couple of years, and while scrolling through the clip pages today, I found none other than Mr. George, and if you're not sure who he is, he's a host on the Logan Paul podcast, and it seems he hardly finished off Tutorial Island, but it's just super cool to see famous people giving our beloved game a go. Ever see him again? <laughs> Joe Watermelon still sending the TOA with his buddies, but you've never seen this at Zback before. See how I'm just chilling here and he's not. Oh god. <gasps> Guys! Wait a second. <laughs> Can you mail it? Oh. Um, <laughs> oh my god, stop, bro. I'm stuck. Can you help me? Yes. No. Wait, how would you ever say that? So because of the most random RNG in the world, the man was literally trapped in between those rocks. I don't believe there was anything that he could have done to survive. His friend thought he had a little plan, but I'm not sure if it would have worked. So Zimmy decided to send the one clip challenge, and I don't think she realized how hot it was going to be. A few moments later... Pure Spam has 250 mil worth of risk in his invent. Hopefully this goes well for him. But what? <laughs> uh, okay, what was he doing? Well, there's the easiest 250 in the middle of my life. <laughs> His opponent wasn't happy asking, why you stepping, bro? But Pure Spam didn't mind too much because that's 215 mil into his pocket. A couple of weeks ago, we saw 10 Below's huge grind taking over 8,000 Callisto KC to get the little cub and reminding everyone that he's playing on his sneaky little Pure account. Well, it seems he wants all of the wilderness pets and he had a bit of better luck at Venonatus. Oh, Bad. We got f wound. We got f wound, boys. Done, boys. He still went over rate with that pet being a 1 out of 2,000. Took him almost 3,000, but nothing as bad as that 8k Callisto Club. That's huge. We got to double that. Surely this is the one. He's dead. He's so dead. <laughs> 
all the RNG. Good. And that has to be some of the most disgusting hits we will see. Dino was hitting like an absolute truck and the key was worth at 123 million GP. And one sneaky little dragon bolt.